nearly 45 minutes into the call um, is when I start hearing the bullets flying. Pastor Matt Hennessy was on a Zoom call in his office at Vancouver Avenue First Baptist Church when he heard bullets flying. When I heard it Thursday night, it felt like it was shots at the front of the church. That's really how it felt. The shots were actually fired just blocks away near Emmanuel Hospital. And it went on for a while uh, before it ended. And then I heard the tire spinning as the driver of the car obviously was trying to get away. Soon after that, he walked to the scene. You could still smell the gunfire in the air. And I talked with the uh, police officers when they showed up. Thursday night's shooting left a woman dead. She's the fourth person killed in Portland by gunfire in the past week and the city's 52nd homicide this year. It's the most in Portland in 27 years. You know, I don't know how many more people have got to die. I don't know how many shots, more shots have got to be fired before something is done to change, literally disrupt this trajectory. Portland's specialty team that targeted gun violence was disbanded at the beginning of July. Activists accused it of unfairly targeting people of color. Even though police chief Chuck Louvel says that was not accurate, the gun violence reduction team was defunded during the summer's racial protests. Pastor Hennessy thinks there needs to be something in its place. So they may not have that title, but whatever functionally they were doing needs to be redone. He is willing to help city officials come up with a solution. This is not who we are, and this should not go unchecked. Friday night, the mayor and police chief announced starting immediately, more detectives will be assigned to investigate and follow up on shootings. The city is also reaching out to other law enforcement agencies for support. Christelle Kumwe, KGW News.